What's up everyone? I just wanted to give you an update on the tank. I know it's been an extremely long time, so I figured I would show you guys what's been going on, what we've added, how it's been doing, and we'll go from there. Check it out. So this is the tank as it sits right now. I have not cleaned it. I wait to do that on the weekends. We are going to be going to Aquashella this weekend, uh, so I may end up picking up some new goodies there. I am not sure though. Uh, we actually got this bubble there last year and it was maybe that big in size. And as you can see now, it is massive. So we have added some new fish. We have a couple Antheas in there. Um, we did have a couple Randall Antheas, but they ended up dying because of the shock. Uh, that was put in from the previous uh, local fish store. They never put them in the tank first to let them adapt. They just gave them to us. And so we had some issues with that, but we do also have some blue chromies. Um, I like to have kind of the fish just float around and, and swim around and, and really enjoy kind of just watching them. It's been going great. Everything's been looking really good. As you can tell, I really got to clean the side of the glass. Um, but it's it's going good. So some of the stuff that I am feeding the tank, uh, I am feeding eight milliliters of AB plus from Red Sea that is going in the tank about every three days. I'm putting that in, I don't wanna overdose. Um, and then I'm also doing some seaweed, which as you can tell, the fish are going crazy for. They absolutely love this seaweed. This is the seaweed that I am feeding them. It's uh, Julian Springs Sea Veggies. You can get it on Amazon. I'll put a link below in the comments. But this, as you can tell, they absolutely go nuts for. They love this stuff. I'm also dosing about once a week uh, Reefroids and the uh, Polyp Labs uh, Polyp Extender. So I am putting those in the tank as well. Um, I've been very selective on how much I'm doing of that because I have noticed that your nitrates and phosphates will go up when you dose the Reefroids and Polyp Labs uh, Polyp Extender. So I've been kind of trying to keep it natural like this. Um, I've still been noticing our corals have been growing really well and fish have been, you know, very happy with the food and the, the stuff that they're getting. So. Uh, I've, I've kind of kept it to this and then every now and then I'll do the coral, uh, the AB plus and the, the polyp labs and reefroids. So as you can tell though, they absolutely love this stuff. So this is going to be a quicker update than I normally do um, and kind of a shorter video. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that I got back to you guys. I know some of you have always been commenting saying, you know, have you made the changes to the metal clamps or what's the tank look like now and stuff like that. So I uh, finally got some time. I had a family member pass away. So I've been dealing with some other things um, outside of the hobby that I haven't really had some time to kind of give you guys a good video that's coming out with this so this is so far what we have and uh what we're going with so let me show you underneath and the changes that we've made to that as well so going underneath um i am getting about four to six weeks on a roll uh this is my third roll now uh and it's been running great i have noticed some issues when I do change the roll. I end up having to change the flow because uh, for some reason it, I, I don't know why, but for some reason it's its happening to where I get that toilet gurgling every now and then. Um, as you can tell though right now, I can't hear it. It's not existent. So the, uh, the media reactor has stayed off for a lot of the time. Only when I've noticed a spike in my phosphates, I'll turn it on to kill the phosphates. Uh, otherwise it's been staying off. My UV has been doing great. 
Um, and my skimmer has been doing, I mean, a fantastic job. I couldn't be happier with the skimmer and how it has pulled so much junk out. The sump stays really clean. I don't really have any issues with any pests or anything like that. So one thing I forgot to mention is on the reef mat, it has on the bottom, and I'll show you here, uh, it has on the bottom a spot to put some additional media. So I've put carbon in there, um, and this is actually what I'm using, is the reef spec carbon. And I'm doing that about every three months is when I'm swapping that out. Uh, and I'm only doing about three quarters of a cup. Uh, and, and that seems to, to be doing really well. Well guys, thanks for checking out the video. Um, I know it's a little shorter than normal and not too exciting, but if there's anything you guys like to see on the tank or anything like that, drop it in the comments and let me know. But otherwise hit that like button and subscribe. We'll talk to you later.